nice. There you go. One second over. I'm loading up Frame of War on me. Sex Box Uno over there. <clears throat> okay. Just hair. Stop being crazy. I can feel you just having a party over there on top of my head. Ah, <sighs> you learn something new all the time. I learn no matter what speed your fuck off train paying for from your ISP. As soon as you connect to a company's server, like say Microsoft server for gaming or PlayStation or Steam client servers. That's fucking loud. Hope all of you can hear this shit. Fuck off. Listen, damn it. Make like a tree and leaf. Leaf thine tracks and be gone. <clears throat> Point in case, I'm paying for yay so much speed, yay so many megabytes, bits, whatever you want to call them, per second. And here recently when I get on, my speed to download from Microsoft Xbox servers is throttled. Now, don't freak the fuck out. Yes, net neutrality being destroyed has something to do with it. But right now, half the world's in a fucking lockdown. People are doing shit online more now than ever before. And yes, there are some instances where people are just being throttled because... Yay, so many people reporting against them, like all the lying bitches that report against me. But then again, I've got some of those recorded and put onto my YouTube channel for everyone to see. They're the ones who start the shit, not me. I just finish it. Now... There is a couple of possible solutions. Solution the obvious. The one wherein the companies don't want to do it because it's expensive. Well, if you'd done it to start with, it wouldn't have been expensive. And you could have slowly expanded the infrastructure so that, you know, the standard internet and then the gaming spaces internet are completely compartmentalized and separate from each other. So, solution the first. Have the gaming networks completely separate from the standard infrastructure of the regular internet. That way, when people are gaming, it's not eating the bandwidth that's possible to be used by everyone else streaming videos from whatever service or making network phone calls and working from home like all the other people are doing right now across the world it keeps the bandwidth freer because less people are going through this, this one infrastructure that's not set up to handle it yeah I know they're not gonna fucking do it why would they I mean, they, they want to lie about something and say they need to increase the price of games from 60 to $70, so why would they do anything to make the experience more enjoyable? Anyway, that, that's besides the whole point. The point is, I learned a thing. That thing being... No matter what you're paying for in terms of speed and upload and download, 
whether you have a static or a dynamic IP, that has a big impact. But, because of a combination of the fucked up situation everyone is in right now, and the servers having a speed cap that they allocate, basically, shit's getting thick. What else is there to say? I'm done talking. I learned something new. I shared it. Hopefully, a lot of you already knew it. Till next time, links do things, likes and dislikes, I don't care what. Do thingy you like, whatever you want to do.